Okay, second exercise is actually let's kind of have fun with motors. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I just put it in place in zero. I place in 45. And then I place it to C. And this one is 90. One twenty five and one eighty. So forty five, forty five, one sixty. So let's say so we have fun. And then what I'll do I will reverse that. So from one eighty I come back to one twenty five. I come back to 90, I come back to 45, I come back to 0. So what this... Okay, so thank you. So what this will do, either go 0, 45, it becomes like clock. It just goes up and goes down. So if I run it, you probably see that this one is moving up and down. So you probably you probably working like this. Going up and going down. <laughs> I think we cannot cover okay, I will cover uh, iPhone thing this Wednesday. So you will have fun there at the time. Okay, so, but this one is a little bit, so if you want to smoothly move to, so, uh, so instead of doing this, so this one is kind of like almost radically move up to the next step. How can it do it smoothly? No, no. Yeah, yeah, actually using actually full loop. So actually instead of using this, what I do is, so this one is a uh, full loop grammar in Arduino. What you need is for, special keyword for. So let's say integer i. Oh, okay. Integer i is starting value is zero, semicolon. If i is smaller than 180, I was 181, I would say. Second one is condition, the comma, I will increase I plus 1. Meaning that I will become 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, until when? 180. 180. So here what, hap what will happen? Wait, can you explain that again? Okay, so, okay, so for loop in Arduino has three parts. Okay, so here means uh, starting i value is 0 if i is smaller than 181 uh, it uh, uh, for loop continues and i will increase by 1 so this is what these three things means. The initial value of i is 0. If i is smaller than 181, it will continue the loop. And then how many, how, what is step? I will increase 1 at a time. This is the what for loop means. Why is 181 again? Uh, because the angle, the solver motor angle, maximum angle is 180. So here's the thing. And then I need a curly bracket, so representing the body of for loop. So here what I'm going to do is sv dot write. What should I write down here? The angle. What is the angle? I. I. Okay, then actually for to smooth the rotation, I just write down the delay and probably let's say uh, uh, 10 milliseconds. So what it means is you will move 0 to 1, 10 millisecond wait, 1 to 2, 10 millisecond wait, 2 to 3, wait 10 millisecond. So I will delete all the rest part. So if I test it,
So you probably will see that this one goes to 180. But let me okay, let me test mine. Uh, I want to see up here. Uh, okay, I'll check very quickly. I will check yours very quickly. Uh, so one. What you are seeing is that this one. Okay, so what you what you will see is this one goes to zero to one eighty, then come back to zero because it's just another loop. So okay, instead of doing one to one eight zero to one eighty and come back one to one eighty come back, I want to do one to one eight what zero to one eighty smoothly. And zero to one eighty to zero smoothly. What 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 should you add? Uh, so I will. Okay. Where? Yeah, we need another full loop. So what I do is I will copy another full loop. I will change that the structure. So first value is instead of zero, I will change it to one eighty. And then condition should be changed. And if i is larger than Zero. Actually, it should be zero. Actually, it should be minus one, isn't it? So it will, it can contain zero. And then instead of i is i plus one, I'll do i minus i. Then if you run this one, it moves up. It will rotate slowly and rotate back smoothly. So let's test it. I will check your code. 